Okay, so here we are at the final third video of the uh, of the PCB123 parts creation process, and here we will use the Manage Parts tool to pair the footprint and the symbol we created together, and then place them in the taxonomy so we can place it on our schematic. So still looking at the symbol editor, so I'm just going to go ahead close this window which will bring me back to the schematic window and here I'm going to go up to tools and then to manage parts so here is where we will pair everything together and put it in the taxonomy so uh, you see a list of parts here on the on the left hand side under the taxonomy and uh, what I'll do is create a new subfolder here I'll right click on the top level directory and create a subfolder and this is going to be my microchip example folder okay so now I can uh, move over to the so now we can go ahead and select the symbol and select the footprint and then fill in the properties and create a new part in the taxonomy. So let's start with selecting the symbol. So here I'm going to go into step one and enter in the part name, the symbol name in this case, and select go. It's going to search the libraries. I could have just picked the library that it's in, but uh, just to show you, I don't think I've shown you the how the search box works yet so here we go there's my part and so I'm going to go ahead and select it from step two and go down to step three and assign the symbol so there it is now I'm going to go down to the select footprint button uh, I've used the same part number here so I'm just going to type it in select go it's going to go ahead and search, and in a moment it should pull up, pull up the part that we created, and there it is. And I'll go ahead and uh, select it in step two, and then insert in step three, and there's my footprint. So now we just need to fill in the details. So I have a part manufacturer, and if you remember from the symbol we entered in as a property displayed on the screen for the symbol, the part manufacturer which in this case is microchip so we'll go ahead and add that in there and then the manufacturer's part number which is the number that we've been using over and over again for the symbol in the footprint and then the digikey part number which we can actually go back to digikey grab that part number place it in there as well and then Midas well oops I didn't get it all let's go back And then we'll also take the description from here as well. And so we're done. Um, if there were other values, I'm sorry, other properties that we had added to the symbol, like say the part value or uh, the part tolerance or any of the other properties that we had in the list that we were looking at when we were in the symbol editor, here is where you would add them and then uh, this just means you're going to fill in a property so we would select the uh, part value had we added the part value and and then uh, fill in the detail um, this, in this case, uh, for some reason, the description pulled the part value, but I, I want this, I'm not going to use that as a part value, obviously, because it's just the description. So I'm going to take that back up here, put it back in the description, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and create the part. So create new part. And then I'm going to put it in my microchip example folder and select OK. 
Now, if, if I hadn't created this folder in advance, I could still create it now. Just right-clicking at the top level, you have the option to create a subfolder. Um, I already have my folder, so I'm not going to do that again, but I'm just going to select uh, the microchip example folder and say OK. So there's my part now listed in the taxonomy for me to use. And so if I just select OK, go back to the schematic, I see that the part, uh, the folder that I created is now listed in my part taxonomy. I can go to that folder, expand it, select the uh, symbol, place it on my schematic, and uh, press escape to release the uh, part selection tool and return to the selection, select, an, uh, select object tool. And then if I zoom in on my symbol, I now see that I have my reference designator, my symbols all labeled properly. I even have my micro microchip manufacturer's uh, name down here at the bottom because I filled in the details in the Manage Parts tool. And if I switch back over to my layout, down here at the origin, I have two parts, and they are the footprint that I, cre that I created in uh, video number one. So that is that is it. That is the parts creation process. Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to give customer support a call at 800-228-8198, or as always, you can email support at uh, support at sunstone.com, 24 hours a day every day of the year feel free to call us if you have questions or send us email or get us with live chat online thank you